Welcome back, family, friends, and fans. It's Karma Lately, and I am excited today because we are going to do something that we haven't done on the channel before. We are going to make a treasure map, and you can gather all of your materials. You're going to need some paper, a pen, uh, an inky, like a nice inky pen or a calligraphy pen, something that's that's very inky, a pencil, some, if you have distress ink, that would be nice. If you don't have distress ink, and let me show you, you'd be surprised. I've actually gone to arts, art shops and have asked for distress ink and they didn't know what I was asking them for. So this is a um, a sample, uh, an example of distress ink, and it's just ink that when you apply it, it's ink that when you apply it, it'll make the paper or whatever material you're using, it'll make it look aged and distressed. So. Um, if you don't have distress ink, uh, you can use like <clears throat> black ink. If you don't have ink at all, you can make your own ink. And all it takes is maybe getting some black and uh, a little bit of water or some brown paint. I'm sorry, when I say black, I meant black acrylic paint and adding a little bit of water to it or black watercolor that would be nice or brown acrylic paint and adding a little bit of water to it or a brown watercolor worst case scenario you can also i use i sometimes use these um twistable stick slick sticks i always forget um so i use this and i'll put it on I'll put it on paper. If I could find a piece of paper. I'll put it on paper and I smudge it. So if you have something that smudges a little bit, that'll be good. If not, um, let's see, what else can you... Oh, you can use tea. And you can use coffee. Preferably, if you're going to use coffee, try using decaf coffee. I'm going to give you some examples of that. This is all with decaf coffee. And there's so many videos. I have a couple of videos, but I'll be honest. Uh, my videos for, um, for uh, dyeing paper with coffee and tea are good. But there are some really amazing videos out there that will help you to get this kind of effect but to be honest i discovered that the main thing is what you're using what kind of tea are you using what kind of coffee and for me the decaf coffee is just so much more powerful the like instant coffee and so all of these papers i even got a couple of music notes in there And what's great about doing it with um, doing it with one of these is that you're already creating like a nice um, pattern. You know, this would be a nice side to work on the on the map. But we're not going to do that. What I want to do today is actually show you from scratch. There are a lot of different uh, kinds of paper that you can use. We are going to focus on these three. I'm going to go from heaviest to lightest. And this is, it's a cream color. You really can't see it with this lighting. I'm using um, a lot of natural light right now. Let me see if... Um, so this is pretty heavy it's 
a it's a nice card stock. Eight and a half by eleven. So this is the first one. Okay. The next one that we have is I think this is eight and a half by fourteen. I'm gonna use my sewing my tape measure that I use for sewing just to confirm eight and a half by 14 yes okay so eight and a half by 14 it's also a nice little like cream color and it's just regular paper. It's not too light and it's not heavy at all. Okay. And last but not least, good old parchment paper. So this is going to be fun <laughs> and it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I've actually never made a treasure map with parchment paper. So we're gonna leave that fun for last. I have not looked up any videos. I don't know if anyone has done any treasure maps with parchment paper, but this is gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna start with, and most, all three of these materials, we're gonna do the same step. We're going to take the paper and we're going to crumble it. And this one, because it's so heavy, it actually hurts. So I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna crumble it again. Open it up and crumble it again. Ow. Now, the more that you, and this is why science is so much fun, the more that you crumble this, ow, um, the floppier and the more, like, the more it starts to feel like a fabric. And if the paper is really, um, heavy like this, you can also do it just by like corners and sections. And if you get a couple of rips, I don't know if I did yet, I'm going to check. But if you get a couple of rips, that is okay. Because remember, we're creating a vintage treasure map. Like what would happen if you found a treasure map in a lost, some sort of lost chest? What would it look like? That's what we're going to create today. But so I'm going to do a couple of more. But this one, because it's so heavy, it needs more uh, manipulation. The more, um, the lighter the paper, the less times you'll have to do this. You can already see the paper, see how it's starting to, to fold over by itself, like if I'm holding fabric. And this kind of paper really wouldn't ordinarily do that. But that's happening because I'm weakening. I'm weakening its, um, I don't know how to say it. Kind of going to wring it too. And if you don't want it to be this wrinkled, you don't have to do it. But I find that it also gives it a nice, like right now, if you were to feel this, you'd see that it feels like fabric. It's just the weirdest thing that happens to paper. 
So we did this one. Look how it, look how, f this is so weird. Look at that. It's so interesting how paper um, changes. Now we're going to take our regular typing paper, eight and a half by 11. Look how easy this is. Doesn't hurt as much. Oh, my hands are pink. <laughs> oh, my God. And this one already feels good to me. I think I might only... Let's see. I think I might only do one more. I'm just trying to be careful not to rip it in the middle because I don't want that. If I want it ripped, it would be on the edges. If it rips in the middle, I will be upset with myself. Okay. No rips so far. Oh, lied. Here's one. Look at that. <laughs> Excellent. And then I am going to go ahead and let's see how long do I want this. And I'm going to rip it. Didn't want it to be even anyway. And this one, I think I'm only going to do two. I think that's more than enough. This one already looks like a map. Just with the shape of it. So we're going to do that here as well. We're just going to rip a little bit. start with the heaviest one and the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my distress inks let's get these out um, I'm using tea dye antique linen vintage photo and walnut stain. Okay. I'm going to start with a little layer, just a little background layer, just to kick things off. This is the part where you should be using a pencil. I am a bit of a risk taker and I don't want to use no pencil. I want to use, I'll show you guys what I'm using. This is Prismacolor, um, Prismacolor Premier and this is dark brown. Okay. I'm trying to read it through the camera and I couldn't and it has two sides this is like more like a paintbrush side this is more like a mark marker side and I think I'm gonna use the marker for some precision and now I'm just gonna haphazardly create some lines <laughs> I'm always nervous at first and then I get the hang of it All right, 
<laughs> Ugh, I think I'm going to use the marker. I'm sorry, the paintbrush. It's got to feel a little bit more flowy for me. Let's get our um, vintage photo. We're going to play a little game called Catch Me If You Can. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I'm joking. I don't know why I said that. I just kind of want to... I want the map to come alive a bit. Um, but this is not the right, this little stamper thing, it's not the right tool for what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna get, it's like this is a makeup blending tool and I think this is gonna give me what I need. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Some palm trees over here. I don't know if anybody's going to see that. That's fine. Where is the treasure chest going to be? Now the fun part. Let's distress the edges. Now, guys, remember, you can distress the edges with coffee, tea. Some people might take to matches, maybe, uh, or lighter. And you can burn off the ends instead of ripping them like I did. Which is cool. No matter what you do, just be safe. Um... I like using the distress ink because it's just a it's a challenge and I can manipulate it how I want and I won't have paper burning off and in all the wrong places. Um, it can get a little out of control with the um, with a lighter. Now I'm just gonna smudge all that distress ink. I'll be honest with you, if you're a crafter, if you're a paper junkie, if you're a scrapbooker, if you if you want to get into it, um, I think it's a good investment. I think it's a good investment to get a little bit of distress ink and try to preserve it it can last a long time um, I preserve my distress inks I close them up and then I put them in a ziploc and then I put that ziploc in a nice secure drawer or I'm sorry bin and I don't have any issues with my distress ink but it's it really if you're looking to distress and you like the vintage feel 
then this is definitely the way to go. And you can layer this with other um, with other colors. I would have liked like a this is exactly what I wanted. Jesus. Whew. I feel very at peace right now because this is exactly what I was trying to get before. It's almost, you can't really decipher it, you know? You can't really decipher where you are. Um, I would suggest if you want to preserve this map and you want this to kind of be like a forever map, I would suggest that you Mod Podge. Mod Podge can be found at your local Michaels or art supply store. If you don't have Mod Podge and don't want to get Mod Podge, you can make it yourself. I like to do two and a half to three parts glue to one part water. There's your map. There's your map. And it's got that like leathery feel already. When you put the Mod Podge, it's going to feel like leather and it's going to last a long time. And then you can roll it up. And you can play games, pirate games with your kids or your students and be like, all right, guys. Here is the treasure map. Guard it with your life. It's an ancient relic. <laughs> and then you guys, you know, play around. Maybe this is like the classroom door and this is like the closet and this is you can create a nice little thing there. So that's one down. This is with the with the cardstock, the heavy cardstock. And as you can see, it feels super, feels heavy. All right, great. Now we have, I mean, it's interesting. This one felt a lot thinner, but since I wrinkled it, it feels thicker and heavier, weighted almost. So we're going to try another one. This time I'm going to use my inky pen.
I feel like I screwed this one up. But um, that's, you know, like, that's okay with me. I'm alright with that. You gotta own it. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to own all my mistakes. The treasure box is fading away. It's because we're working on parchment paper. Now, I know for a fact that acrylic paint works beautifully on parchment paper, but I don't want to use acrylic paint. It's way too cliche right now and weird for a... Um, it's weird and cliche for a map. In my opinion, in my opinion, that's me. I feel like a map should have ink. It could have watercolors since watercolors were used a lot in the 1500, like in the mid century or whatever. But acrylic paint didn't come till later. And so it would be a little weird to bring that into the, to the game here. I, I want to achieve a certain thing. Now, I didn't put a bow. I didn't put a, um, ooh, this, I got red by mistake. Oh, actually, I like that. I'll put that by the X. X marks the spot. I, um... I'm gonna get a little bit of black ink. Now this can get really ugly, guys. Really ugly. But that's okay. We're gonna try to, to make it happen here. All right, it got a little dangerous. It got a little weird. We're okay though. Let's stay with the black. We're gonna distress the hell out of this map. Have you ever distressed the hell out of anything? Well, I'm teaching you how to do that today. The way to distress the heck out of it you get black ink and you really get those edges these are gonna look a little burned it's a little hard to write on this one so I didn't do too much writing but let's see what I can come up with um, later Your hands are gonna get inky, grow up, big deal. So your hands got inky. Ooh. Wash your hands. It's good to get nice and, is it good? It, don't be afraid. Like if you're afraid to get your hands dirty, you're more than likely not going to do the best job you can possibly do. You're also going to try to only show the good stuff and not show the mistakes. Don't worry about making mistakes and showing them. I've heard of people trying something a million times, getting it right, and then showing people. And I'll be honest, this is my first time doing this with you guys. So this is a journey. Get out there 
and like do something about life do something about your life do something about the decisions you're making and all that now this is a very um weird map i can admit that it's got some some issues some bona fide issues let's see if i can make a quick uh, nope it's hard to write on it um so i'm not gonna do actually i can do i am gonna do it but i'm gonna do it with the ink so it's gonna be a little simple let that dry on its own so <laughs> that is how that one turned out it is um, it's unorthodox for sure but you can do so much with this you can um, add a bow I mean, if you want to throw on some acrylic paint just because you want to get certain things on here, then you might as well. Um, you can put a little boat over here and maybe some trees over here, some palm trees. I wanted to put some palm trees over here. Those are the ones I started there, but I gave up on that. Um, so yeah, this one is just really different and it'll change the way your kids or your students it'll change the way they see parchment paper and this one's very easy it, it already feels like leather um, but you add that Mod Podge to it you should add Mod Podge to all three of them once you add the Mod Podge it's gonna really keep it stable and give it a really nice color so we've got this one and it came right back <laughs> this one it actually looks cool when you it looks cool let me see if I can show it to you guys from a distance it's like it doesn't look bad and then hold on sorry and just the way that it feels it feels so like treasure mappy you might end up liking this one better than the others just because of how it feels it's like all right guys we gotta get here like you see how it moves once you mod podge this one it's gonna be really cool there's that one and then there's this one but I like it so that's it guys and it was so much fun doing this with you guys today I've been dying to do this I know it's not a very big deal but it really was a whole lot of fun and I just wanted to get it done and I'm just glad that I did get a chance to. I did use a couple of extra things. I used some more of these slick sticks, other colors. I used this deco color um, liquid gold, extra fine. I used my inky pen. I used this black ink. This uh, powdered pigment. I used the pearlescent liquid acrylic, all my distress inks. I also used this um, Tombow ABT water based marker. What color is this? 
I don't know. I think it's smeared off. But it's like this green. And then I also used this um, metallic gold. And I think that's it. Oh, I also used this old watercolor set that I have here. With some water. And that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please um, like, comment, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.